What up? Mixtape review, you know, um, now this artist have always been an artist to where I can never really get into his music. You know, I don't know what it was, if it was production, if he didn't develop his flow right, or whatever the case may be, I just never knew what it was. And he done released a lot of projects. I used to download a lot of his shit, and I, but I never could really get into most of his music, you know what I mean? But this mixtape right here, I definitely fuck with it, man. Um, Rocky Diamonds with Loner. The mixtape cover is dope as shit, man. Like, straight up. Uh, features, you got Tory Lanez, O'Shea, J.R. Donato, and that's basically it. He kept the um, features to a minimum, and I can respect that. Um, let's get into it, man. Uh, uh, first track, Loner, featuring Tory Lanez. Definitely dope as shit. It, like, switch up halfway through. The beat was kind of dark and airy, you know. His flow was very ill, but aggressive lyrics, you know what I mean? Tory Lanez added his um, portion to the song. Now the thing that got me twisted, and I'm keeping it hunting with y'all. Now I say he featured Tory Lanez, but I couldn't tell them two niggas apart. So I'm wondering when the beat switch was that all Tory Lanez. So if y'all know, let me know. But other than that, that song was just dope. Um, number two, still focused. It got the belly skit on there, you know. If y'all remember belly, then y'all should know what skit I'm talking about if you listen to the mixtape. Uh, but definitely go check it out. The beat was dope as hell. His flow was crazy. He got kind of deep. I didn't know he actually can pit words together this well and rhyme as well. You know, his lyrics was deep. You know, it had no hook. Classic beat. Beat was classic as fuck. And he did his thing on that song. Go out and get it featuring O'Shea. I didn't like it. I'm sorry. You know, I just think you can be more creative in making music about going out and getting money. It's like, I didn't heard that so much in 2014. It's just like, we have to get, if you're a rapper, be more creative and talk about ways of getting money besides just, oh, blah, 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 go out and get it. I'm not saying he did that, but it's just like, it was too basic for me. And it's just like, be more creative, you know. Um, number four, thank me. Uh, humorous lyrics, I will say that, you know, very humorous. The beat was dark, the hook, the flow was cool, but the lyrics were just humorous as fuck. You gotta check it out to see what I'm saying, but I understand that record a lot. Bitches like uh, soulful slash jazzy type beat, you know, his flow was on point, you know, I fuck with it. The hook was honest, you know, um, and the lyrics was honest. He came from a different perspective, you know what I mean? And it's like, bitches like, and you have to respect the person that can really convey emotion like that. I really fuck with that. Number six, down. They used the Brandy sample, right? And I didn't know how to go into this record with thinking like, okay, it's the Brandy sample. I want to be down. We all remember that song from the early 90s. My sister, auntie, cousins used to go crazy for that shit. And she was 16 years old. Brandy was doing her thing. That was the jam of the 90s. So they flipped that sample, which made the shit dope. The beat behind this sample was clean as fuck. Uh, his flow was crazy. You know, his lyrics was ill. And it just became a great song. So... That could have turned out some fucked up shit where it's like the sample could have just been the down part. Like, I want to be down in a whack-ass way, but they perfected it and it came out dope, man. Number seven, Slime featuring J.R. Donato. I'm not going to lie, it's it's a good song, it's dope as fuck, but it's selling like some drill music shit. I don't know where he's from, because in the mixtape he said, I'm not from Chicago, I'm not from here, I'm from Minnesota. I don't know, that's what he said, so if y'all know where... Rocky Diamonds is from, let me know, but it just sound like, you know, a knockoff of, like, some Chicago Chirac type music, and I don't really like that. That's another thing, sidebar, I don't like rappers taking a style. Like, that drill shit that's going on in Chicago, that's their music sound, right? That shouldn't be where it's on the East Coast, or it's in L.A., or it's in Miami. That's their sound. Like, I'm not liking that. Even though hip-hop is like that, what's ever hot, they do it. But I'm not feeling that shit because then it's going to be oversaturated and the people that made it popular ain't going to get looked at. You know what I'm saying? And, and the first person, let's keep it legit, that came out and popped off that was Chief Keith. Not saying that he's the greatest rapper alive, but he made that popular because he popped off first. You know, and the first person in any city that does something and it makes it, you can have 10, 20 motherfuckers do it. But when somebody pop off and it works, then boom, you know, they... Headlines that style, but even though him and you know King Louie go back and forth over who created the drill shit, who it doesn't matter, just who made it first. So you have to give that title to Chief Keep. But I don't like when other people use it, like Bobby Shmurda. That's definitely, you know, uh, that's I'll leave that for another video. But this record just remind me number seven slime of you know that drill shit. Number eight face. 
I didn't like it. Just basically about a bitch, you know, sucking your dick. Pause. And to me, that's that's kind of like in a way where I have, rappers they'll just say like getting head and shit like that. But that face or top shit came from yet again Chicago. So it's just like, yeah, hey, I can't respect that. Uh, number nine, trying to find love. The sample was dope. I will say that smooth mellow beat. You know, uh, he was honest. It came from a real place, you know what I mean? And I like his flow, and I definitely appreciate songs like this when it's more honest and you're not forcing shit or reaching. Because I can't stand an artist that reaches too much or just says some outlandish shit, like, oh, I can walk in the building and leave with five bitches or some shit like that. And we barely know who he is as an artist. So I felt he was genuine with this song, and he wasn't reaching. Uh, moving on to number 10, By the End. I didn't like that song either. You know, I just couldn't get with it. The production didn't fit his flow or the lyrics. And the last track, One More Day, um, it got a fabulous hook on it. You know, if y'all remember from his first album, One Day, my mama said, I'm gonna make it, son of you, you know what I'm saying? That song, that was one of my favorite songs on Fabulous album as well, but I thought that was dope. The beat was dark, his flow was steady, his lyrics, he was honest in pitting that hook to match with the song, and I thought that shit was crazy. Overall, I think he did a better job than any of his mixtapes that he previously put out. So I get his project, you know, a 7.5 out of 10. I like 8 out of 11 records. That's really not bad. Um, I know y'all feel like, well, damn, you like 8 records and you only gave a 7.5. Why you don't get a higher rating? It's because even though I like 8 out of the joints, it still was certain things in each song that particularly, you know, was oversaturated or he talked about that in this song or... You know, it was just too repetitive. So I still feel that's a fair rating. Um, and the production about seven. I give the production an eight because he did have a lot of great production for his samples and the way they mixed and mastered the shit. But definitely Rocky Diamond's Loner mixtape is definitely, you know, a mixtape I feel y'all should check out. I relate to it because I can say I'm a loner. Like, I don't really rock with a lot of motherfuckers. If it ain't family, my girl, that's basically it. And, and a few motherfuckers that, you know, I kick with at the shoe store other than that. Uh, I'm by myself, solo, dolo, yolo till I die, you dig? But y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Thank y'all for supporting the channel. Make sure you support the other channel for more mixtape reviews. I'm just trying to throw a little bit on this channel so that, you know, can feed over there. And hit me on Twitter and let me know what y'all think about, you know, which channel. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to let y'all self-decide which channel I should keep. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, I'm out. One.